Okay, Shalom Israel. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, the honors of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom unto the elect. And uh, speaking on the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, uh, right here you see the, um, you know, well, this is the sit down up. I mean, not the sit down, the, you know, the, the on the street, um, the live show that the apostles do every Saturday. Which this one, as you see, is, is uh this past Saturday, the 9th, which really is 3 9 2019. Um, it was supposed to be 3 9 2019 that they're supposed to label it. All right, but nonetheless, they were going into um the judgment of Esau and, and they were meditating terror. And now, one thing Apostle Gabar was saying it's not a matter of if Esau is going to be destroyed, be destroyed, and you know, be judged, it's a matter of when. You know, all right, and um, that's what I'm gonna name this man. It's not if, but when, okay, because wickedness will get judged. All right, look at us, we're on the bottom because of our iniquities, man. All right, so which you know what? Um, I'm gonna grab that. Let's see. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 20 Yahweh, And this is uh, in pertaining to the Lord's people Israel That Yahweh shall send upon thee Cursings, vexation, and rebuke In all that thou settest thy hand un un Unto for to do Until thou be destroyed And until thou perish quickly Because of thy wickedness Of thy doings Whereby thou hast forsaken me And because we have forsaken The heavenly father all right, because we have forsaken righteousness, because we have forsaken the path that the Lord wanted us to go into. Therefore, we, you know, we we are subject unto the curses, man. All right, we are, we are under the lowest among the heathen. You know, our people uh, uh hate each other. You know, they, they, our people hate each other more than they hate uh, the enemy, man. You know, you know, they look at each other as the enemy as opposed to the real enemy, which is the so-called white man. All right. So a wickedness has a price, man. All right. The scriptures say in Romans 6 and 23, the wages of sin is death. All right. And the scriptures say, man, that Esau, which I'm going to just grab that, Malachi 1 and 1, it says, uh, Malachi, all right, it's uh, the burden of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith Yahweh, yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love J uh, Jacob. So if the Lord loved Jacob and he put them, you know, and he put them through some hell, how much more Esau, man? All right. You know, if the Lord loved Jacob and he put them through chattel slavery and, you know what I'm saying, having a woman commit adultery on them and. Uh, you know, having them being hung on the trees. All right. How much more the person he hates, man. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragon of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. You know? So Esau is known as the border of wickedness. All right? Like, for example, um, over in Jersey, right? You have PA on one side. All right? And then you have uh, New York on the other side. All right? But when you hit PA, it'll be a sign. Welcome to, uh, uh, um, you know, welcome to um, Pennsylvania. All right? Therefore, you know you're in Pennsylvania. So that's the scene with Esau, man. All right. When you see 
you know, wars happening all throughout the earth. All right. Uh, the cancer rate uh, at an all time high. All right. People being vaccine, getting sick, homosexuality running rapid. All right. That's that's basically like that. That's, that's basically like that sign. OK, the wicked is in ruling. According to Proverbs 29 and 2. All right. So Esau is the border of wickedness, man. Esau, when you see Esau, you see, you know, wickedness, man. Esau represents wickedness, man. All right. Now, um, you know. Hey, man, there's it's nothing good for the wicked. All right. And we're going to get a few precepts, man. This is Proverbs 16 and um, 4. All right. This is the uh, the Lord have made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. So you might ask, well, if Esau is a wicked and the Lord hate him, why did he create him? He created him for the for, for the day of evil, man. All right. And if you look at it, you can look at it this way, man. All right. The Lord created a, a, a evil. All right. So that right. So that a, a, a righteousness can be um exalted. All right. Because like they they have a saying in the world, you know, you wouldn't know uh, a joy if it wasn't for pain, man. You wouldn't know righteousness was. You wouldn't know what righteousness was, nor to appreciate it, if you didn't have the wickedness to balance it out, man. All right, but nonetheless, in the end thereof, the wicked will be destroyed. Okay, let's get another one. This is wisdom of Solomon. Uh, three. In verse 9, it says, They that put their trust in him, talking about Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints. He have care for his elect. All right, here's the flip side. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imagination, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. All right. And hey man, that's Esau, that's Esau in the whole, man. As a whole. He neglected the righteous, alright, the heavenly father. Alright, the description saying Ezekiel 28. Alright, and um Ezekiel 28, I think it was Isaiah 26, if I'm not mistaken. You know, Second Thessalonians, how Esau sets himself up as the most high, man. He neglects the, the law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord set up to rule this earth in the right way. All right, and rules it off his own wickedness, man. I was just, you know, driving around, you know, I was uh, uh, at work or whatever, driving around, <clears throat> and I'm looking at these high-ass skyscrapers, <clears throat> and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, what is, what if there's a fire, man? These people are done, you know. And the scriptures it tells us, you know, that we sh you shouldn't make the um a house more than uh, three stories for that reason, man. If it's a fire, you know, you could jump, you could jump out the uh, window or whatever. You know, and be safe. Okay. It says, uh, for whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable. So the so called white man is miserable, man. You know? He is miserable, man. And their hope is vain. This is why Esau can't he can't enjoy his rulership peacefully, man. He can't just enjoy his rulership. He gotta go around fucking with the rest of the world. You know what I'm saying? He got a he got a uh uh set up shop in space. You know, he 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 he's a psychopath, man. And one of the um one of the um traits of a psychopath is that he's easily bored. Okay? For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain, their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. You know, so Esau, what you're doing is in vain, man. Trying to take down his truth, trying to uh, uh, chip the people. That's in vain, man. And it's unprofitable. All right. <laughs> their wives are foolish and their children wicked. Their offspring is cursed. Isaiah 14 and 21. All right. Prepare slaughter for for uh for his children, man, for the iniquities of, uh, of their fathers, man. So it says their offspring is cursed. Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled, which have not known the sinful bed, 
and shall have fruit in the visitation of souls. Okay? You know, hey, man. So it's not looking good for Esau, man. The Lord always spoke bad about the wicked. Okay? <coughs> this is Psalms 11 and 5. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked in him that love of violence his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and in horrible tempest. Okay? And we know that from the um you know the um the ICBMs, man. Just like in Sodom and Gomorrah, what? They were the wicked, man. Alright. And the most high rate uh rain fire and brimstone, man. And the scriptures say, well, we're supposed to look at that as an example in the book of Jude. Okay? Uh, unto all those that should live ungodly. Let's just grab that actually. <laughs> This is a, <clears throat> see, Jude 1 and 7. It says, even as the Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Okay, so it's set forth as an example of what not to do, of not to go against the laws, that the commandments that the Lord set up, man. All right. So it says, upon the wicked, he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone and in horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. OK, so the portion of the cup of the righteous. All right. Is a, a salvation, man. Everlasting rulership. All right. Like it says in what? Revelations 2 and 10. He that keep my words to the end. To him will I give a rulership over the nations. All right. But him that basically goes against the Heavenly Father. Well, you, hey, man, your judgment is going to be bad, man. You know? Two-thirds, hey, man, two-thirds. Jacob's trouble, man, because they are considered the wicked as well. You know, and they're going to get it. All right? And they're going to come back under the offspring. You know, they're going to die, and they're going to be the offspring of the elect. All right? But, hey, man, Esau, even in the kingdom, he's going to be the, known as the wicked, man. So, he, hey, man, he's going to keep getting his ass whooped. And them days going to be long, man. Them days, <laughs> them days going to be long. It says, for the righteous, for the righteous, Yahweh loveth righteousness. His countenance doth behold the upright. Okay. Hey, man, so, again, man, it's not about if Esau, the wicked, all right, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the wicked, is going to be punished. It's just really about when. Okay. Hey, so with that, shalom to the elect.